a technological genius far ahead of his time, a visionary who explored and broke through the shackles of the electrical industry. He would encounter and overcome anything in his path, and even challenge Thomas Edison's direct current system to accomplish his mission, global electrification. His work would redefine the 20th century and illuminate the world forever. Nikola Tesla, Exploring an Electrical Era When electricity was first introduced in the late 1800s, it was the greatest luxury one could have. Stemming directly from the generator, only the rich could afford to buy this opulence. In contrast, the common public used gas lighting, a very dangerous method. Scientists had been battling the problem of electricity for over 50 years. Thomas Edison, already one of the most famous American inventors, took on the daunting challenge of creating a safe, inexpensive electric light that the common public could use. After numerous attempts, Edison finally succeeded in 1879 with the production of the first commercial incandescent light bulb. His light bulb utilized the direct current system to replace dangerous gas lighting. Hailed as a wizard of Menlo Park, Thomas Edison rose to great heights in the public eye. However, despite being a modern miracle, it had serious limitations. There was no efficient way to change the voltage of the direct current circuits, and it would only be able to serve customers within a two mile radius. It was unlikely that direct current could ever change for the better. 4,000 miles away in Austria, a man by the name of Nikola Tesla was exploring the science of the direct current system himself. During his second year at the Polytechnic Institute and University, Tesla encountered the Graham Dynamo, a machine that produced direct current. During the demonstration, it began to spark badly. Tesla observed that it would be possible to operate the dynamo safely without the appliances that caused it to flow in direct current. When the idea was exchanged, he was instantly ridiculed. His professor, Jacob Poschel, rebuked the concept and declared that it would be impossible. Mr. Tesla may accomplish great things, but he certainly will never do this. While strolling through the Hungarian Central Park with a companion, Tesla became transfixed upon the sunset. Inspiration entered his mind with a jolt. The idea came like a flash of lightning, and in an instant, the truth was revealed. He took a stick and began drawing in the dirt. The diagrams he drew were the beginnings of alternating current. In two months, Tesla had evolved all modifications of the motor. In a year, the first prototype of the alternating current motor would be built. He had this amazing public presence, and then when he was creating, his character would change. And he was just a poetry in action. While direct current produced the flow of electricity in one direction, Alternating current used a rotating magnetic field to produce an electric current that alternated direction many times per second. This resulted in an efficient, adaptable electric system. Tesla needed financial help to be able to promote this radical new generation of electricity, but his exchanges with investors were unsuccessful. They simply could not understand the greatness of the device. Tesla's failed exchanges came to the attention of Charles Batchelor a long-time assistant to Thomas Edison. Bachelor pressed him to take his work directly to the most prominent figure of the industry, Edison himself. Nikola Tesla embarked on his voyage to America and arrived in New York City with nothing more than a few coins and a letter to Edison from Charles Bachelor stating, I know two great men. You are one of them. The other is this young man. When Tesla encountered Edison, the idea was quickly dismissed as unnecessary and ridiculous. Instead, Edison offered Tesla a job of fixing his DC generators. He promised Tesla a grand amount of $50,000 to do so. Tesla accepted and worked day and night to complete the task. When he finally achieved the impressive feat, Edison refused to pay the promised amount. When you become a full-fledged American, you will appreciate an American joke. Outraged and disgusted, Tesla resigned. While the two men would rarely cross paths again, their electric systems would openly encounter for the world to see. The war of currents had just begun. With no other job prospects, Tesla became a ditch digger for an Edison company. 
Digging near Edison's power lines allowed him to see flaws with direct current up close. Word quickly exchanged, and soon Manhattan's elite came to know Tesla's plight. He was soon approached by two investors, and through many exchanges, set up the Tesla Electric Company. With this new space, he constructed many AC motors, the most valuable patent since the telephone. Word of these patents reached George Westinghouse, Tesla's greatest partner. George Westinghouse, an American entrepreneur, believed alternating current was the future of electrical generation and long-distance transmission. For these motors, Westinghouse offered $25,000 in cash, $60,000 in stock, and $2.50 for every motor sold. The royalties would make Tesla one of the richest men in the world. One of his promoters, John Wagner, stated, Westinghouse had the means to electrify America by using Tesla's patents. Meanwhile, Edison's electric empire was struggling to meet the demand. Edison knew direct current would have to completely erase alternating current to survive. Edison launched a full-scale assault. When Edison keeps ruling off his most logical argument just by attacking him right away. Edison declared that alternating current would kill customers within six months. He held demonstrations of electrocuting animals to show the public how fatal it could be. Edison's smear campaign climaxed when alternating current was used to kill a convicted axe murderer, the torturous method later dubbed Westinghousing. Tesla biographer Mark Seifer stated, Westinghouse had the courage to fight Edison back. Tesla counteracted the negative press with his own demonstrations. He held exhibitions where lamps were lit by AC electricity flowing through his body. His exchanges with the public showed the possibilities held with alternating current. Bernard Finn, Smithsonian Institution curator, stated, Tesla's various talks and demonstrations no doubt helped his reputation, but the war of the currents was decided on the merits of the two systems. The public swayed from side to side, unsure who to believe. Tesla needed a major public victory. The 1893 Chicago World's Fair was to be the first all-electric fair in history. Both Tesla and Edison were vying for control to light it up. Edison and General Electric proposed $550,000 with direct current. Tesla and Westinghouse Corporation offered $400,000 with alternating current. Due to the lower cost, Westinghouse Corporation won the bid and were chosen to light the fair with fluorescent bulbs. 27 million people awaited the future of electricity in the White City. President Cleveland pushed the button, and 100,000 lamps wired to 12,000 horsepower alternating current generators turned night and day. He knew. He radiated. Tesla radiated. You know, he was very humble because the scientific community really appreciated him for a long time. The buildings glowed with the work of alternating current. Within a week, the entire nation was raving about alternating current as the future of electricity. Tesla had won the War of Currents. President of the Tesla Society, Jane Alcorn, states, Tesla's legacy is still being discovered. He had his hand in so many areas of inquiry that we can see his work in the foundations of many fields of science, technology, and electrical engineering. Tesla's work allowed for some of the greatest advancements in history. The second industrial revolution was ushered in, and commercial electricity was accessible across the country. Society was evolving with Tesla's innovation. In today's time, all electricity is predominantly powered by alternating current. All around the world, millions of people use electricity as a key component to encounter and exchange with others. We have explored the darkest depths of the ocean and the farthest reaches of the universe. Tesla created for the advancement of the electrical industry, while Edison focused on large financial profit from his work. With the legal system on his side, Edison's legacy remains more well known, but Tesla made possible what Edison could not. Tesla's explorations into electricity and his encounters and exchanges with Edison and Westinghouse propelled science forward. Nikola Tesla pioneered the world into the 21st century. The amazing edge that defined the genius and crazy creator. He lived that. <laughs>